Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless you, the Lord bless you, family. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. This is a day the Lord has made that we all should rejoice and be glad. This prophetic word title says, the man is going to jail. Stop the relationship now. In other words, the man will go to jail. Stop the relationship now. Hallelujah. Please, this prophetic blessings with Pastor Basil. And this is a new day and a new prophetic word for somebody. Praise Master Jesus. You might be watching me and you're saying this word is not for me. I am married. I'm not in any relationship. Please, you can stand the gap also by sharing so that the right person this word is going for. Let that person hear this word in the mighty name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word is talking about a man that is going to jail. Hallelujah. Yes. And this is a warning. I don't know. You know, there are some type of people that naturally they grow up liking good people. There are some type of people that they grow up liking, just liking bad people. I don't mean there are people that are bad. When I talk of bad people, we know what are, what, what are bad about them. Somebody like me, naturally, I grew up, the moment I see a guy, like this was my mentality before, but I've changed now. When I was growing up as a young, as a young boy, with my love with God, when I see a man that has tattoo all over, piercing the nose and ears all over the body, like dressing rough, automatically, I, I would just see them as, as people that I cannot make friends because those things, my heart don't like it. I'm not here to judge somebody, okay? That is my own mind. But as I am growing now with the Lord, I have understand a lot of things concerning all those type of things. But that is not my main issue here. Yeah. Then now, other word, there are women that the moment you are even asking them out and they find out that, just assuming me, I'm asking a lady out. I say, well, I want to get married to you. If the lady knows that you are a pastor, she'll say, ah, I don't ever want to get married to a pastor. That are the desire of some ladies. But for some ladies, they don't desire to get married to a pastor because their mindset towards pastors are negative. There are some ladies that their dreams and happiness is to get married to a man of God that will help, help her life and her children. Like you understand. Then there are some ladies that they grow up. If you are not, if you don't have Drake logs, if you don't have tattoo, if you don't have earring, if you don't have muzzle, if you don't have, uh, 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 if you are not smoking, you cannot be their match. So there are ladies that the moment they see all those qualities in you, you are their type. So everybody has their own type. Praise Master Jesus. And there are ladies that cannot go out with a poor man. What is poverty? Because the, the, the Bible said David wanted to anoint the first son of Jesse. God said, no, stop. Men look at the outward appearance. I look at the heart. The man you're calling a, a rich man today. The man is living his future. Hallelujah. A lady rejected a guy at the age of 30 to get married uh, to, to a man at the age of 50 that the man has money. I told that lady that is the worst mistake. That man is living his future. This guy, his future is pregnant. You don't know what his, his future will give birth to. So this particular prophetic word is to reveal something that is about to happen. So I am going to focus this prophetic word on those type of lady that love flashy things this um the prophetic word is going to that category of people and i'm addressing to the ladies to those lady that when any man comes you start thinking about how much you start asking them how much is your bank salary how much is it how much is your salary how much is this? how much is this do you have a card do you have it? yes that is the people i'm addressing to I saw someone in a relationship and this relationship is not because of love because you saw something that that attracts you you have always been attracted by by those things and the devil knows your weak point the moment God the devil knows your weak point he will use the weak point against you so I saw something that is coming that is not good this man that you're dating you don't know where this man is taking his money from you don't know where what he's doing for a living. Something happened. I saw you going with a car, and this man has 
some bad stops inside his car and you were blocked, stopped somewhere and you both were arrested and you both were put into jail and God revealed to redeem. God is telling you to stop because the man is going to jail. Hallelujah. He is living a fake and a, a fake life. He's doing evil transaction. His transaction is not the best in the society. And God is about to expose this man. You better say stop to yourself. It's high time for you to come back to your senses and ask God. Life is not all about money, my sister. It's not all about money. Paul and Silas say, gold and silver we don't have. Dollar we don't have. But what we have in the name of Jesus, there is something that is beyond the money. Please, we need to say stop one time. We need to take a break, the break and look forward. I pray for someone watching and connecting in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. I declare and I decree that the plan of the enemy over your life, it will not stand, it will not come to pass for in Jesus' mighty name. To all the ladies that, that are moved by money, please, as you hear this prophetic word, work on yourself. Before you go in with any person that has money, make sure you find out every person is an altar you're dealing with altars your life is there i've seen a lot of people that lose their life in prison in so many places just because of money on something they, they never knew god bless someone watching and connecting for in jesus mighty name please don't forget to like and share this prophetic word for in jesus name amen